We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Jalen Waddle. He's currently my favorite player to watch in the NFL, and he just brings a different level of excitement to the games. He's obviously very explosive, but there's many athletic players who haven't made it at the NFL level. Waddle's route savviness combined with the freaky athleticism that he possesses makes him such a special talent. He has amazing change of direction ability, the ability to decelerate and accelerate instantly. Many players over the years have gotten compared to Tyreek Hill, but Waddle's the only player that could actually be in that discussion. With both of them on the field at the same times, it creates one of the most dangerous duos in the entire NFL. So let's watch this film, and I'll show you why I believe Jalen Waddle is a top 10 receiver in the league. This route by Jalen Waddle, absolutely fantastic, super nuanced, super savvy. He just understands how to manipulate, how to be deceptive in his route stem. Just manipulates that safety right there. We'll go back, break this down a little more slowly. Starts off, the Dolphins really only do like a few different rele releases with the wide receivers. Starts out by diving to the inside, avoiding getting rerouted by the corner, and then Reese works vertically and takes a slight angle to the outside, manipulating with his eyes, his body. He's You gotta be a route salesman. He's using his entire body to sell that this is a corner. And they ran a corner route with Waddle a couple times in this game, and one of them went for a big play. So he's selling this and then sticks that foot in the ground gets the, the safety here to hesitate and he's just too explosive back to the inside and he tracks this ball beautifully just a really well done route he also does a good job manipulating the pace kind of slowing down accelerating decelerating and then boom stick that foot in the ground get up field and catches this ball nice downfield tracking you like to see a receiver the tracking usually how i tell a receiver is pretty good at tracking obviously you want to see their eyes but they don't slow down through the catch point a lot of receivers have to slow down to track this ball and catch it but he maintains his speed and takes a hit right after the catch he shows some toughness there for a guy his size he's very willing to take hits in contested areas and he actually shows some pretty good play strength and contact balance too for a guy of his size so really impressed with Waddle and this is one of the biggest plays of the season for the Dolphins this time Waddle in the slot working a stick and nod just love how he works his angles his leverage he just really understands how to manipulate with subtle movements and he does a really good job with his break timing and obviously very efficient with his breaks good job attacking inside selling back to the outside using eyes manipulate and then him and Tua just on the same page to sit down in the zone you got to be a smart player at the NFL level and while Waddle is explosive obviously you think of him as a freaky talent he has a very good feel versus zone but let's watch this a little more slowly here starts off taking the inside leverage he's just not running straight getting to a point he's being improvisational with his deception and it's just very impressive he changes up the pace uses his footwork here to really sell that this would be an out and then Tua and him really get these linebackers to move on this and then he breaks on it with perfect timing gets over the top and then there's a safety playing the middle of the field so Tua puts it on his back shoulder he feels this as well they're just on the same page this is why he's been so good him and Tua have always been on the same page it's like the one thing they brought from college together and then you get to see him after the catch be explosive right here once the block goes down you kind of have to like hesitate go back to the inside being able to like stop your feet like this freeze the db and then you do a little bit of stiff arm to pick up an extra like 15 yards like most players would not be able to pick up those extra yards after the catch almost breaks this for you know a 90 yard touchdown but this is just the kind of explosiveness big playability that it brings to the team like last year we got to see him more as like a possession reception type guy but in this McDaniel offense with Tyreek Hill on the team we get to see him actually you know expand the route tree used in more uh downfield situations get him the ball in space and he's been really good so far for through the first four games of the season good route here by waddle doesn't get targeted i know the Bengals game wasn't his best one stat wise but there was some plays where he looked really good this time versus press man really good job working the split release st gets off the left foot gets the inside track and then creates all that separation right at the break point so really good job here breaks down a little more slowly so he comes off working the split release the dolphins really only let their receivers work the split release that's all I really need to do come to balance take one hard step to either the outside the inside gets the inside track and then he gets vertical once he gets even with the corner he leans back into him and then uses that to get a slight little push off to create the separation back to the inside flattens out his route to get away from the corner as much as possible teddy's looking at him but he feels the pressure right as that happens so i know with teddy at quarterback 
people are expecting Waddle's production to go down a little bit. It could, but if he gives him the opportunities, he'll be fine. Working these inbreakers is like the staple of the McDaniel offense, you know, the Shanahan 49ers offense. And Waddle's really good at these routes, creating separation, separation quickness at the top of the break. Really good route, like the good timing right there too. Good feel, everything really solid about that play. This is the type of ability that Waddle, Hill, and maybe a couple other receivers can make in this NFL to completely change directions like this, stop on a dime 180 the other way. Like, corners cannot cover that. Look how much separation this creates. He doesn't get the target because Teddy's scrambling, but just watch him on this play, working to the inside, gets off on his track, looking like he's going to run the drag, which they've been doing a lot in this game. Waddle runs a lot of in-breaking routes, so the ability to sell this in-breaker to Stop on a dime, two steps. All it takes was two steps to completely 180 out of the break and create, you know, multiple yards of separation. Teddy just doesn't see it because he's getting pressured right here. So the pressure was just throwing off some of these plays that could have been really solid for Waddle. Um, so the stat line was a little, I feel like the stat lines in every game have been a little bit skewed, you know. You're not going to have the 19 targets like he did in the Ravens game every week. And then the Bills game, he still had a good stat line, but the Dolphins offense was barely on the field. The first game of the season was like Tyreek Hill show, target him every play, and Waddle still produced. It's like the only game Waddle didn't produce. I think it really had to do with the Tua injury. And then when it was his time to get the ball, Teddy got pressured and it just threw the timing off of things. And... He still looked good on the reps where he wasn't getting the ball. Just look at the feel for this, the instincts, the awareness, the chemistry that him and Tua have. He's looking at him right here on this play. They're like communicating, something's going on here. And Waddle just feels this. He slows down his route. And then him and Tua right on the back shoulder avoids because it's quarters coverage here. The Bills run a lot of quarters. Uh, both uh, the, deep, the outside corners bailing, safety is coming downhill. And then Edmonds is sinking back into this zone. So he feels that, starts to slow down. Tua puts a perfectly placed ball on the back shoulder. And he's able to slow down, catch this, and instantly turn to avoid that safety out of this. And if that linebacker doesn't come back and like get a little bit on him from behind, this would have been a one-on-one -on -one with the corner in space. So just these big play opportunities are going to come after the catch. All it takes is, you know, making one extra guy miss. One other guy being half a step late, he has that ability to make you pay. And this ability to stop on a dime, rechange your direction while you're catching the football. It's special. It's a great feel for the game. He uh, doesn't get a lot of credit for, you know, like people just think of him as a, an amazing athlete. But he's very, very aware of where he is out on the field. And that chemistry with Tua is just mm, chef's kiss, honestly. Dolphins motioning over here gets the corner to bail and it ends up messing up the coverage so good play call and he just works the blind spot the corner never had a chance like if you're bailing like this just opening your hips right away waddle's gonna make you pay by attacking leverage look at this body lean right here his whole body is selling that he's going to work vertically to the inside good job taking those steps and then working into the blind spot once the db he made the db move over regain his inside leverage and once he does that he just takes the outside track to the corner and he just has all the separation in the world and then you know get some yards after the catch near the sideline it's just so so impressive he can run pretty much any route and he just loves to work and manipulate leverage work his angles change things up uh vary your pace if you're varying your pace it's really hard to keep track of you which he does a really good job of. You can see him accelerate off the ball, kind of slow down, then re-accelerate, and then get that outside track. Really impressive rep from Waddle. This time an RPO, another play where Waddle just sits down, finds the soft spot, versus the zone. This time working the run pass option, him and Tua are always on the same page in this. Allow him to get all this space. And then one of these days, these like quick passes where he finds this soft spot versus the zone, he starts to slow down, feels this window right here, Good job catching it in stride. Good placement by Tua. And you can just see the lower body flexion that he has. That suddenness out of like the cuts. The jumpiness. The ability to accelerate off of one foot like that. And then one of these days, all he's got to do is make one safety miss. And he's going to break a long one. And it's definitely going to happen at some point this season. I mean, he's already broken some long ones. But some even bigger ones where he's making multiple guys miss. And I'm just looking forward to him progress as the season goes on. 
I love getting him involved in the screen game. Good patience here, allowing these blocks to be set up. Love getting Tyreek Hill involved in the backfield too. Just adds a little wrinkle to the offense. And then just Waddle obviously has the explosiveness. You use Hill on the read option or like the RPO there to really sell, manipulate, keep eyes in the backfield. And then it allows Waddle to just hesitate, hesitate just enough, allowing Eichenberg and Armstead to get out there, get their blocks going, create the lane. Really good job by Armstead getting his back to Waddle and he gets into the end zone. Good vi field vision there. So everything real nice start to finish from the whole team there. So look at the effect Jalen Waddle's speed will have on a corner who's playing in quarters here, like to the top of the screen, they're playing cover six, quarters at the top, gets him to open up his hips, and this is third and long, this was a huge third down conversion in the game, and just gets him to open up his hips, and right as he opens up the hips, he breaks, just in just an efficient break, really good job getting out of that, just off of one foot, he's so sudden, and then just the ability to accelerate get out of there and then he catches this ball with his hands looks the ball in good hand catch technique one area he has struggled this year is with drops just letting the ball into his chest in his chest on some slants um more of concentration issue i think too but really good job catching the ball with his hands there he has the ability he has strong hands and can make plays uh going up above the rim too for for a little a smaller receiver but yeah just really good love the effect that even when he's not even really trying to sell vertical he gets the corner to open up his hips just because of the speed that he threatens more of just a beautiful play design on this one to attack cover six using the inside guys deep over as a clear route and then it creates all that space for waddle look at all the room he has to work with but just getting to your spot finding that soft spot sits down him and two on the same page and i really want to show it show off like how nasty he can make people miss he really sets up this cut giving that slight angle to the outside here knows that this guy will probably overcommit because this is where no help is and then sticks that foot in the ground able to accelerate upfield you know pick up a few extra yards if you kept going to the outside probably wouldn't have gotten there just based on the angles of the players but you can just see how explosive he is able to be off of one cut we just haven't gotten too many examples of him being like at his most explosive obviously he's showing off suddenness every play but a lot of the plays, it's more of just finding those soft spots, sitting down, and then he'll be with guys draped all over him so we don't get to see him at his most explosive potential. But you can just see that dynamic movement skills off just that one cut right there. This time, making a tough catch in traffic in between two guys. Really good job. You can see the physicality too, the play strength, contact balance too to stay up there on the initial hit. But gets right in between the two guys, starts to slow down. Him and Tua on the same page again. He jumps up. We'd like to see him catch with his hands, but he's protecting himself right here, jumping, preparing to take this hit. Really good job taking that and then still staying on his feet. The corner just hangs on to him just enough to get him down after it, but a really impressive play, making this catch in traffic in between two guys, preparing for contact, hanging on to it, picking up another first down, and then almost turning this into an even bigger play. Really nice subtle change of his route angle here just based off they're running cover one robber and he just changes up his angle right there at the last second to make that safety miss and you can see him run through some arm tackles here love to see the contact balance the play strength from him don't get to always see that too often but yeah split release again get to the inside wins the inside track versus marcus peters has enough separation they get him the ball they're running cover one robber so this safety is coming down to help him out on the cross and he starts to take his angle slightly back here to avoid the safety he just feels that really well great anticipation after the catch puts out that arm to run through him and then even runs through this guy and just goes out of bounds just really impressive play very subtle stuff that is happening but you need to be able to understand the game at a micro level to make those types of plays and waddle does I had to throw this play in here because this was a really good play from Tua with his manipulation and waddle just drops it i think he was just he was just looking ahead thinking he was going to take a hit he's trying to make people miss it's a concentration drop he allows it get, to get into his chest and he's had like i would say like three or four drops like this this year just right in the bread basket he just turns and looks away and these could have been even bigger plays to add to the you know the stat sheet or whatever just needs to clean this stuff up this is sort of his biggest issue right now um every player has something to work on and this is sort of what waddle really needs to clean up um not too worried about it because drops aren't the biggest thing is unless you're dropping 
majority of passes, which he's not. He's making big plays, and when you're getting a lot of targets, drops are bound to happen. And I just, I mean, his big play ability makes up for it, in my opinion. And this is the game winner versus the Ravens. He's actually like not even supposed to get the ball here, but you know, play breaks down. He's really setting up a pick play here for the slant from the outside and ends up getting messed up. But you can just see his change of direction off of that too. He like, they almost run into each other. Things get cluttered and he avoids the DB and off this jump, he's able to just change directions, flip his hips around. That's so fluid, gets this separation and then Tua puts it high and away he goes up, catches this ball at the highest point. Very good job going up there. You can see the explosiveness, tracks this in, hand right in his face too. Big time plays and big time situations. That's what you need to be if you want to be one of the best receivers in the NFL. Just look at the break efficiency on this. He's running this route at full speed. He's able to stop on a dime, work back to this comeback, and then really good job making sure he comes back to this because two is throwing this ball low and away and it's still right ahead of the first down marker on third down. Just love this from Tua and Waddle. And he doesn't really do anything too nuanced in his route here. He's just getting upfield, trying to sell vertically on the fade, the slot fade, and then sink those hips, get out of it. He creates just enough separation. That's all you need. And then get back towards the ball, make a catch low and away from the DB that only they can catch. And it's a very, very nice play from both Waddle and Tua. Last play that I'm going to break down, Waddle's big first touchdown of the season on fourth and seven. The motion here from uh, McDaniel right here gets Wilson motioning in, allows Waddle to not face the press defender, get an off man, and he Waddle just does just enough. And then this is where you get to see the speed. You don't take if the safety don't take perfect angles, Waddle Hill they'll make you pay. This is just getting him that free release so he doesn't waste any time. Eats up the cushion, gives one hard step to the outside, gets the inside track, wastes no time, gets his hand inside of the chest, creates that just a little separation that nuanced move right there really subtle stuff catches the ball in stride would like to see him maybe not jump right here uh jumping at the catch point when it's unneeded but he doesn't go too high and is still able to get to the ground and accelerate out of this you can just see and that was like you know the biggest offensive play versus the patriots the first touchdown they scored this season and it was a huge momentum shift in the game and this is the type of plays that a player like waddle brings to the table He's just super special, like one of the most unique players I've ever watched. I think he's for sure in that top 10 area. There's a lot of really good receivers in the NFL, so you can argue a lot of people. But Waddle is definitely in that argument. And with him and Tyreek Hill on the same team, just can't wait for Tua to get healthy because I think it's one of the best trios in the NFL right now. Like they were looking so good through the first three games. And I think... If all three can get healthy, stay healthy. Because Waddle played through the Bengals game with a groin injury too. Like, they stay healthy. It's going to be dangerous. Waddle was like almost up to 21 miles per hour on this play too. And, you know, I don't think he ever reached full speed. He hit some nice acceleration. I think right after he catches it, he hits the acceleration. But right, he could have kept going full speed, but he kind of starts jogging in. But what an amazing play from Waddle. Big time player that's going to make big time plays for a long time. Definitely my favorite player right now in the NFL to watch. Just it really brings excitement when a player that explosive is that savvy of a route runner. Create that separation in multiple different ways. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.